Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, as I was working on my uh, sermon for Sunday, I noticed a line in both of the scriptures that I'm going to use, First Peter and in John. The one in John is a very familiar uh, doubting Thomas, and it's a bigger story than Thomas's doubt. But at the very end, there's a, there's a line I hadn't really paid attention to before. Uh, Jesus provided far more God-revealing signs, this is from the message, than are written down in this book. These are written down so that you will believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that in the act of believing, you will have real and eternal life in the way he personally revealed it. And that intrigued me, having a real life. Wow, what, is, what does that mean? And then coming to the First Peter text from First Peter 1, 3 to 5, because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and have everything to li live for, including a future in heaven, and the future starts now. Of course, I like the line, and the future starts now, as opposed to including a future in heaven. God is keeping careful watch over us and the future. The day is coming when you will have it all life healed and whole, and the future starts now. So it made me wonder, what is a real life? And I thought, I, instead of me coming up with the answer, right, why don't I ask the question and see what happens? And so I sent an email yesterday to a dozen or so folks in the church, some who are members that don't live here anymore and aren't able to really connect a lot, uh, including the couple that lives in Australia now. And I want to pose this question to you today because I'd like to ask your help. What is a real life? Can you share a story of what that might mean for you? You can send me an email. Uh, it's david.barr at missionhillsucc.org or write a comment in the section, in the comment section here on Facebook. I really would like to know what you would say constitutes a real life, and the future starts today. And with that, I hope that you have a thoughtful day, and of course, one that's grateful. Bye.